Well, hey there, this is Jerry, and I'm getting started on another episode of What's Broke Today. And today, I'll show you what I got in the box, or in the styrofoam, I should say. And inside of here, what do I have but new mirrors? Um, these are the. Uh, 2000 I think 8 to maybe 15 or 16 Ford Super Duty mirrors that um, and these are uh, the aftermarket variety um, but they are pretty doggone cool but somewhere in there there's probably another nut because there's one missing but um, I'm going to change these out on my 2000 F350 and a cool thing is is they even come with adapter plugs they're supposed to plug right into my harnesses so we'll see how well that works I got pa drivers and passenger side and um, yeah I'll get some things ready and let's swap out some mirrors not really sure where's the best place for the camera I started out with it here and first thing I'm gonna do is turn the key on and roll this window down Make sure I put the right key in the ignition because I'm gonna need to reach through to hold the mirror okay I'm gonna start out we're gonna Pop off this trim up here and it's just got two little spring clips. Then we're going to pop out our uh, window switch up here starting out at the front and then slide it forward. We'll unplug the wires from it and get it out of the way. And there's one seven millimeter headed bolt or screw that's right inside of here. We'll take it out. And then da -da -da -da, I'll come down here and carefully pop my lens out and I'm gonna pull that bulb out because it's nice and hot. Then there's another seven millimeter headed bolt behind here. We got to pull out. Or I call them bolts, screws. And then the easy part, we just grab the door and panel and give it a little tug up and pull it out toward me. And then I can reach inside here and unhook my light socket. And then I'll peel this off. access to that hole and I think I now got to pull this plug there's three plugs up here and you got to, the top and bottom ones are what hides the bolts are the nuts the top and bottom one hide the nuts that hold the mirror on and then I think Yeah, I probably got to pull the speaker because it looks like those wires are going down through the door. So let me go get the right socket because that's a it's like a 5.5 millimeter. Once I get the speaker out, that factory connector is just right back here, and it's got a little I don't know one of those burr clips holding it to the other harness. I was gonna. Pop that burr clip loose and unplug the mirror and make sure the wire's not any place where it can get caught. Oops. Then we'll come up here and very carefully, which since I got the 
door panel off, it ain't a big deal if I drop it, but it's a lot easier if you don't drop these nuts as you take them off. And there's four of them that hold the mirror on. And I always take the bottom ones out and do this top one here last. I loosen the top one you'll see that the mirror starts comes loose and I'll just pull in and hold it up tight I remove the last nut and the mirror will balance there I will come out here and pull it out and I'll pull my wire up through I got the old mirror out, my old connector, and I bring my new mirror up, and I think these are the same thread. Yeah, they are. Um, I'm going to use the original nuts, not the ones that came with it, because I don't know, I kind of like the originals better. And there's adapter harness. Come out here and stick my plug down through the door. Hold the mirror up. Man, that's going to look good. Um, I'll get one of the nuts ready and get it started. Now I'm going to just put the top one on. Now once I get the top one on, then we can start the other three. Doing all this by hand. I don't think I got that thing all the way up in the located exactly where I want it. That feels better, but I might just be dealing with the problem of an aftermarket part that just don't fit as good as I'd like for it to. I might be asking for more than is possible, so. I got it. I'll walk around here and look because I'm fitting good here and fitting pretty good around the front. So I it's a matter of just getting that little locator in the hole. Just gonna tighten these up, you know, tight, but I don't want to overdo it and break anything. Oh, 
awesome. And once we get her bolted up, we can go ahead and stick these two rubber plugs in. Those new bolt or bolts sticking through, they're just a little longer than the originals. So you can kind of feel the tips of them right there. And then we've got to reach up. And hey, it came out the right hole. Then we'll just plug our adapter harness in. And those pins were bent down toward the bottom, so I just bending them up just a little bit, so. Help that plug together, and then that can plug in there, and then. I'm gonna go get a zip tie and zip tie part of that. Let's put this back where it originally was tethered, like that. I'm going to zip tie. Let's see if I can feed that around the back there. Because the main thing we want to do is keep it from getting into the, the window when you're rolling it up and down. that like so and then turn it on and then I don't know if my switch is any good or not but it doesn't I was having trouble with the switch before and I went and bought one but like a lot of other things, I don't remember what the heck I did with it. Yeah, I still got nothing, so. I'll have to check into that, because that's not a new problem, that's an existing. So, but, main thing is I got my mirror in. And uh, then we'll put the door panel back, or the speaker back up next. Okay, and once we get that in, just got to make sure this is up there all the way and the door panel just hooks in these slots and I need to re-glue that. We'll do that later. And see, you know, each, this door panel is so easy to remove, it's not that big a deal to pull it off later. And, mess with that and then of course you pull the wires up through get that up through there and just lift the door panel up you get it in start it in all its slots that's flush and then just push it down and it'll lock in then we can take our seven millimeter and Top one in. I'm gonna put the bottom one in. Not gonna worry about the light right now because I'm gonna go get an LED bulb and stick in it. And then the window lockouts or the door lock thing. We got power windows. And then of course our plug for our mirrors. Let's shut that key off because we don't need the key on. 
And then of course when you put this in, the little tabs on the back, just push it forward and hook that under and then the front just snaps down. And then this just goes up there. On like that and then... And there's our new style mirror. And for now I can just adjust this by hand, but it's going to be so much easier to see out of because this is manual and this is a power part. And I'm going to get some spray and uh, smoke that. The other cool thing is a little tight, but those slide out to, for wider. And then slide them in and they'll fold in. So. Alright, let's get started on the passenger side mirror. Pop that off. All my two rubber plugs. Pop this at the front, slide it forward. Not as much done plug on this one. Then we pop out our light. I'd already put an LED in that one, but I'm gonna put a different one in there. And then we come here and I go get a Phillips screwdriver because that one's been. Well, I bet this will work. Not a Phillips, but it'll fit in the Phillips slot. Just like the other side, we'll pull that up and off there. And hit the light. Get it dislodged from the weather shield. And take the speaker out, so I'll go ahead and do that. Actually, let that dangle down because. I put these speakers in actually I didn't they didn't have those um, adapter harnesses to plug in so I just soldered the wires to the speaker and pull that up and reach in here and unplug the, the old mirror okay And normally you wouldn't want to pull all four of those out, but these have been on here so long they're stuck to the body. And all kinds of dirt and stuff on the back side. Just like the other side, I'm not going to use the nuts that came with the mirror. But, I'll take this, see how I do reaching through it.
I feel a lot better. Now I've got to look at the other side and make sure I didn't clap my, or catch my vent visor in between the mirror and the body. Like I said, I was mainly doing this just to keep that from getting caught in the window regulator. Change on our socket. Notice I have probably edited out a bunch of me just turning my wrench. That all looks good. Light socket back in. And then wires up through there and then up there. this and put back up here. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to chase that because the old mirrors weren't working either and I think that switch is bad. Um, I think I'll get around and uh, also I'll probably shoot a video of me checking that out, but I'm not sure if it'll make enough of a video to post. But just glad I got the mirrors on and uh, I really like the way they look. And uh, basically these, um, I believe that these are the 2008 to either 2015 or 2016 um, F-350 mares, um, that style of mare, because these aren't Ford, these are aftermarket. Um, the pair of them off of eBay, yeah, here I can see my phone. All right, yeah, the pair with those adapter harnesses off of eBay with everything was about $116. And, um, yeah, and part of the reason for I'm swapping mine out is if you watch the videos on the Rusty, the dump truck that I'm working doing the rust repair on, one of his mirrors, well, it goes even farther than that. I took a mirror off of that truck to fix another truck, and now we still need a mirror. Um, and originally he went to the salvage yard. And I went to the salvage yard and couldn't find one that wasn't broke. You know, either the plastic or the glass. You know, so I told him, well, I was wanting to get these new mirrors for my truck. And I'll just take the mirrors off my truck, put on your truck, and charge you junkyard prices. And he said, sounds good to me. So that's what we're doing. Is uh, I am going to take and where the paint was peeling, I'm going to go ahead and touch up the paint and pretty them up. Because... Uh, They'd be ugly setting up against a pretty red truck. So, but hey, I appreciate you watching. 
always like the thumbs up for the likes thank you for all those comments and thanks to all the subscribers that have joined in that I appreciate that hey and if you're not a subscriber why don't you join on in because I'll tell them what else you're gonna see on what's broke today thank you